In this video, we will learn how to create Salesforce-specific test cases using Capata Robotic Testing Solution. As a part of this exercise, we will execute one test case from the Salesforce Starter Suite. Tyler is a sales manager who works for an e-learning platform that creates specialized courses on technology and development for working professionals. He recently came across a prospect from Growmore Company who might be interested in buying the yearly subscription to premium courses Tyler's company offers. Let's help Tyler generate a lead in Salesforce through Capata Robotic Testing. Go to the Suite page and select Salesforce Starter Suite. Launch the queue editor. Make sure you have selected script as a test authoring mode. Before we step into running test cases, let's modify a few settings. Here go to the resources and open common.robot file. Common.robot file in Salesforce Starter Suite defines the settings, variables, and keywords used within the test case files. Here you can see the login URL variable. Replace it with the Salesforce login URL. Save your changes. Now navigate to the Suite page and click on Suite Details. Here we will define the username, password, and browser, which we will use during the test case execution. Although usernames and passwords could also be allocated in the file itself, it is a good practice to define such sensitive information at suite level and mark them as sensitive. So click on the variable and define values. Make sure you also mark sensitive information such as username and password as hidden. Save your changes. We also need to define one more variable, which would be secret to automate Salesforce Authenticator during testing. To set up the authentication, navigate to the Salesforce organization. Search users in the Quick Find box. Select User, and under App Registration field, select Connect. Now right-click on the QR code and select Create QR Code for this image. Copy the security code and keep it handy. In the Verification Code field, provide the first code from the Salesforce Authenticator app. Good job, your Authenticator app is now connected with your Salesforce account. Now go back to the Suite panel and create a new variable, secret. Paste the security code that you copied from the QR code in the field value. Now save your changes. As you have added the Authenticator with your phone and defined the variable for this suite, you don't have to enter the security code manually every time. Now go back to your Salesforce starter suite and open the Salesforce tests.robot file. Salesforce starter suite comes up with predefined test cases. However, sometimes it requires a few modifications that can make the test cases unique to our Salesforce environment. Before we start, let's only keep the test case for entering a lead and delete the rest of them. Now save your changes. Open the live testing terminal. Let's run the test case. As you see, our test step failed as the system could not find the value open under the lead status picklist. It is because open is not a Salesforce standard picklist value for the native lead status field. 
So to fix that, you need to customize the value of the lead status as per the value available for picklist in your Salesforce org. Close this window, go ahead and modify this test step by replacing open with new. Do the same for the verify field test step. Save your changes and continue the execution. As you can see, our test case has successfully been executed. Now exit the queue editor, run the test in regression testing. You can now check the result for your test case. Good job. You see how Tyler successfully managed to create a lead in Salesforce for his potential client through Capata Robotic Testing. Now you know how to create a Salesforce test case through Capata Robotic Testing. Go ahead and create some more cases, such as creating an account, converting an opportunity, and so on. Good luck.